Under the radical left, Democrats, your once beautiful cities have been overtaken by millions and millions of illegal aliens. Psychotic drug addicts, bedlam, squalor. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. Nearly half of the stores in downtown San Francisco have shut down, and the rest are going to be shutting down. Targets, Walgreens, all of them, they're closing up because your DAs, they're Marxists, and they only go after Republicans. But your Marxist DAs, they've given hoodlums the green light to pillage and plunder your stores to do whatever they want. In swanky Beverly Hills, armed bandits stalk their victims' home to rob them at gunpoint in their garage or their living room. They wait till the garage opens, and then they go in and they rob the hell out of them, and they take the trunk of their car and they break it open. People leave the doors and trunks of their luxury cars in Beverly Hills. They leave them hanging wide open so that people don't destroy their car, trying to break through and smash through the windows and the doors while rummaging through to steal the tires and other valuables. They leave their trunks open because if they don't, they take a crowbar and they get it open. So they say, look, if you want to take my tire, it's okay. Can you believe that we've, and this is happening a lot, can you believe that this is where our country has come? Under the Trump administration, we will bring back law and order to California. To stop the far-left prosecutors who are deliberately destroying our civilization and our culture, I will direct a completely overhauled DOJ to investigate every radical DA and AG in America for their illegal, racist, and reverse enforcement of the law. And we will start with the Marxist monsters unleashing mayhem on Los Angeles and San Francisco. In places where there is a true breakdown, and don't forget, when we were in office, we had a period of time, short period of time, where they were attacking Washington. Nobody likes to talk about this. And they were trying to rip down our statues. And I saw what was happening. It was really weird. It was they wanted to rip down statues of Abraham Lincoln, George Washington. They didn't really care. They just wanted to destroy our culture. And I very quickly took an old law that I saw and I reinstituted it, and it basically said that if you rip down anybody even attempting to rip down a statue of anybody in Washington, D.C., gets 10 years in jail. You don't get 10 years, but you're off nine and a half for good behavior. You get 10 years in jail. There's no anything. And amazingly, everything stopped. Everything stopped. But in places where there is a true breakdown in the rule of law, such as Oakland, Oh, Oakland is so bad. I will use every power at my disposal. But it's not Oakland. It's in Los Angeles. It's all over. I mean, it's terrible. It's in places that you wouldn't even believe. But I will use every, everything I can, every single power at my disposal, including sending as many federal law enforcement assets as required to restore safe, safety and peace. And we will immediately stop. And some people are going to say, oh, this is terrible. I can't believe it. You know, these people are killing people when they go into the stores. You'll have 300 young people who are not looking for a good future walk into a store, big department store, and just pillage it. And if you happen to be there when they're there, they'll knock the hell out of you and kill you in some cases. And we will immediately stop all of the pillaging and theft. Very simply, if you rob a store, you can fully expect to be shot as you are leaving that store. Shot. And everything will immediately stop. You won't have any more of that. And you know our law enforcement is great, but they're not allowed to do anything. They're told to stand by, stand back, don't touch. Don't touch. They watch hundreds of kids walk out with television sets, and 
if they do anything, they lose their family, they lose their house, they lose their pension, they get fired. We have the greatest law enforcement in the world. They know exactly what to do, but they're not allowed to do it by incompetent politicians. The word that they shoot you will get out within minutes, and our nation, in one day, will be an entirely different place. So, there must be retribution for theft and destruction and the ruination of our country. This is a phenomena all over the world. People are watching this. This doesn't happen anywhere else. But we've taken away law enforcement. We've taken away their dignity. We have the greatest people. One of the most important things, maybe the most important thing, being a police officer, being somebody that's protecting us and they're not allowed to do their job and they want to do their job. Border Patrol, Brandon Judd, all these guys, Tom Holman, a great, a great border person. These people know exactly what to do. They know exactly what to do and they'll do it. But with the uh, inner cities or just the cities, it's no longer inner cities. This is happening in areas that nobody believes. These kids walk out with televisions and not kids, some are men. And a lot of it's organized now, where they actually go and take everything out of the store, and then you see this guy selling stuff five miles away or selling it from behind cars. It's a horrible thing. When the police are allowed to do their job, and that means, in some cases, shoot them. This will stop immediately, immediately. Our police are amazing. And it puts our police at great it puts our police at great danger. But retribution on our poli I mean, look, take a look. Retribution on our politicians and political opponents who are leading in campaigns by lots. Oh, we are beating them badly. That's what they really, that has to stop. What they've done is they've gone after opponents so that if you become president or some other job, but if you become president and you don't like somebody or if somebody's beating you by 10, 15, or 20 points like we're doing with crooked Joe Biden, let's indict the motherfucker. Let's indict him. <laughs> then I have to call up Harmy Dillon. And I say, Armit, will you get me the hell out of trouble, please? Can you believe it, right? Armit, did you ever see anything like what's going on? I got indicted four times. I set a record. It's a record. Most indictments in the shortest period of time. Who is it? Trump. Trump. What the hell did he do? More than half of the unsheltered homeless people in America live in communist-run California. Think of that. As president, I will use all available powers to take the homeless, drug-addicted, and severely deranged and get them off your streets so that law-abiding citizens can once again enjoy the parks and public spaces, for which they're paying a lot of money in taxes. With all of the money we will save by ending mass illegal immigration, if you look at it, we will have a gigantic surplus, a gigantic surplus to get our homeless population, the treatment they so clearly need. Now, many of the people will never be, they'll never be made better. These are people that, in many cases, are in such bad shape. They'll never be made better. Seriously addicted, and lots of other things happen when that happens. But we also, you know, don't forget, we're taking in the world's population. We're taking in the mental patients from all over the world. You have mental institutions that are empty right now in South America and many other places all over Africa, where they're bringing these people to the United States, having them walk into our country, and we're living with them. Some of these people are very dangerous. It's also you're taking uh, prisoners, many prisoners. If you look at the prison population in South America and all over the world, including Africa, Europe, I mean, all over the world, the prison populations almost in some cases doesn't even exist. They've taken all of it. And they're dumping it. We're like a dumping ground. They've dumped it into the United States. These are the idiots that are running our country. So it makes a really bad situation much worse. But we're going to have the largest deportation operation in the history of our country. You can't do this. Nobody can sustain this.